Memorial United Methodist Church in Thomasville, North Carolina. Today is Wednesday, August the 25th, 2021, and we want to welcome you to our church. My name is Rodney, and I got Danny Leonard back here um, with Memorial. He's our senior minister. We, uh, we want to share a few things that are going on with you about our church. Um, but before we get to that, just, just a few things, just a few facts that we wanted to share with you. We wanted to, first of all, let you know that today is Banana Split Day. National Banana Split Day. Can't beat it. So go out and have yourself a banana split. I found out that there's a world record for the biggest banana split, and it stretched four and a half miles. And they, they did it in this place in Pennsylvania, and they had 33,000 bananas, 150 gallons of chocolate ice cream, and 2,500 gallons of, um, of, I guess, or other kinds of ice cream or whatever. But it, it was like, I, I, I can't imagine that. I don't even know where they did that. Man, but, but I ate one one time, and I felt like it was that big <laughs> before I got done. You know, yeah. we used to make them in, in gutters with youth. I've We'd seen that. A, yeah, yeah. Piece of gutter and yeah, put a never, full in yeah. it and make about an eight-foot section. You know, people uh, slobbering all in it and stuff. Yeah. That, that COVID cut that out. Though, yeah, that, that's kind of frowned upon these yeah, days, I'm yeah. afraid. So uh, maybe, maybe we can get back that's to that. That's good, though. Point. Banana split. It's, it's hard to be. Banana split day. Go out and find one. Get you know, one. Yeah. yeah, go to Mayberry's, maybe. I don't know. Well, who the barbecue them now, center in Lexington. There, that's where they go. I have, I have heard that. that yeah, they were really good there. So. That's heart attack, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go get you. It's got bananas in it. It's it does. healthy. It's got fruit, fruit. and um, if it has strawberries. It's got you know fruit there. It's all fruit. It's nuts. If it's yeah. got nuts yeah. on it, and dairy. Yes, yeah, it's, it's good. It's so good. anyway, we're we're here for your your health. Yeah, we're concerned <laughs> about your nutritional intake. So anyway, other things that have happened on this day in history. Um, did you know that today is the birth of the United States National Park System? That's a great thing. Yeah, back in 1916, and I and so today is the is the day that um, since it was the first national park, which I, I found out was the very first national park was Yellowstone National Park out in Wyoming. Um, All right. That back in 1872, I think was was when that first national park was. But today, um, all all parks, if there's a like an admission cost, yeah. it's free. They, they, they let you get in national parks for free. So you can go to national park today and get in for free. You just run down the road down here and go to one of them. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I guess Great Smoky Ma Mountains are the closest one. Yeah, but there one. ain't no entrance fee there. Oh, yeah. Well, geez, I don't know. But anyway, that was what I was told was that you can get yeah, in for free. Yeah, that's good. So, They're awesome. And I, and I also found out that there are 400. It started out with Yellowstone, but there are 420 national parks nationwide across our across our yeah. whole United States. And it takes up eight eighty five million acres. That's total. protected land. Yeah, yeah. They they, they can't that's you good. can't develop it and everything. And um, I found out that's almost that's like a couple million short of the the size of the state of Montana. It's like huge. That's it's like good. really huge. So we uh, went to Zion just recently. Oh yeah, yeah. Out there. I've heard that was a cool it place is, to it go. Is, yeah, I've been yeah. to several of those things. Yeah. So. Um, go out and go visit a national park today or, or and just uh, celebrate today. <laughs> um, and then also found out that on this date in 1921, um, Yankee pitcher Harry Harper, um, also known as Hackensack Harry, um, you were telling me, uh, you tell me what happened to him on he this day. He hit three batters in, a, in one inning. <laughs> three batters in one inning. You know, three different batters? Three like, different batters, he, yeah. well, he was sending a message. That, you do that now, and you'll be, like, suspended from MLB for a long time. Yeah. So he not only hit three batters in one inning, which was a record, but he started a bench-clearing brawl oh my that was probably a record, too, I suspect. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, you just yeah. don't do it. Those guys, they throw the ball fast, I mean, and hard, but they expect them to have control. Yeah, yeah. He, he was either the worst pitcher ever <laughs> or he had he was sending a message to the other he team. Sent but. A message, right? <laughs> Something coming in there at hundred miles an hour and hitting you on the elbow. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, that make tears to come yeah. to your eyes. I bet that would, that would leave a mark. Um, well, I found out that he eventually retired from baseball and then went into politics. Mm -hmm. He was he was I think he represented I think it was New Jersey or something in the in the United States Congress 
at some point. So he went from like local sheriff, like baseball player, to local sheriff, and just kind of went up the ranks and stuff. In the early twenties, in the twenties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so I guess all that slinging his baseball led yeah. to uh, it prepared him to be able to sling some mud a little bit yeah, later I in his he, career. <laughs> I bet he didn't negotiate much. <laughs> yeah, I bet he yeah. didn't do a lot of bipartisan. Probably stuff. not. He probably just kind of across the <laughs> aisle. <laughs> probably. Probably just yeah exactly so anyway let's uh yeah so anyway that's that happened that three hits th- hitting three batters uh, was Hackensaw Harry's legacy for this date and then also in 1939 the Wizard of Oz was released in in uh, theaters today I, I read a synopsis of of the Wizard of Oz it's basically two women fighting over a pair of shoes yeah, I think, I that's, mean, that's, I think just, that's where the bottom line is that's on that. it I mean all that other stuff is just fluff. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, um, the ruby red slippers. Um, There's no place like home. There is no place like home. Um, I also read that um, Wizard of Oz is the top five um, on Rotten Tomatoes. It's one of the top five films, like in Rotten Tomatoes, ninety nine percent fresh, whatever, whatever. But uh, a lot of people really like it. And um, just this is just an interesting fact. I, I was reading up on it. The lion's costume was a hundred pounds. And because of all the lights, the stage lighting and everything, they measured, they, they took a temperature on the set. It was often like 90 to 100 degrees on set. So that dude in the lion costume was dying. I mean, he was So he was anything sweating. opposite of cowardly. Yeah, he was, yeah. he It took a brave man to go into that costume and be that. So anyway, yeah. So um, Wizard of Oz, go watch Wizard of Oz today on its anniversary in, in, uh, today. So... Then we got birthdays. We got some birthdays today. This was a popular day, wasn't it? Sean, yeah, yeah. Sean Connery was born on this date in 1930. And who was he? Who was he? Bond. James Bond. <laughs> That's right. He served. He was James Bond seven times. He I, is James Bond. He, he's the original. He's always going to be the James he Bond in James my mind. Bond. Yeah, he was. He was the first and the, the only. And all so. those good-looking women that he had as yeah, Bond. Yeah. He got a bunch of women around him now too. But they're helping him get out of his chair. They're helping him get dressed. I mean, feeding him. Uh, Poor Sean. Oh, Sean. <laughs> anyway, Bond. Happy birthday to Sean Connery. And then also, um, it is Gene Simmons' birthday today. And who was Gene Simmons? Gene Simmons. Originally, I found out his original name was, he was, he was, uh, he's, he's Jewish. So uh, yeah. um, his original name was Chaim Witz. And so, of course, I'm probably a good thing for a rock and roll guy to to change his name. But he is uh, he is like the uh, I think he was the bass player for the band Kiss in this. Well, it's, it's been around since he's the, 70s, the most so. notable one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He 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 turns 72 years old today. Yeah, definitely the most outspoken, and yeah. he put himself out there. And all this rock and roll rock lifestyle, you would think that he is like this wild man. He, he always, he was the one with the big tongue yeah. that was like always sticking his tongue out and everything. I think he, he drank fake blood and had like a big show, and they were the ones with the makeup and everything. He, he is reported to have never drank alcohol, smoked cigarettes, or done any drugs. Yeah. Pretty amazing. That is amazing. Like th- you think the rock and roll is just like, you know, just a, a wild party, but apparently he he had s- enough self control to keep. And what keep you doing found out what he did before he started? Yeah, yeah. He was in Kiss. <laughs> yeah. What his job before? So his rock job and roll? before his job before um, before he got into Kiss was he was a sixth grade teacher at uh, in in a New Jersey oh a New York City uh, school system. <laughs> I think he's a tall guy, isn't he? Six two. I found he out he was not, six two. And he wears them heels when he's oh, yeah, he, doing that. Yeah, when he's on stage, he is like this huge guy. Yeah. So uh, big, big like personality. Simmons. Yeah, everything. Gene so, Simmons. Yes, yeah, so he's seventy two today. Happy birthday to Gene Simmons. Seventy two. I also found out that it is Billy Ray Cyrus and his achy breaky heart is his birthday today. Now, some of y'all might not know Billy the name Billy Ray Cyrus. It's it's Miley Cyrus. If dad. you look up, if you look up mullet, in the <laughs> yes. you'll see his picture. Yeah. But I saw I over I spoke you there. That's, he is Miley Cyrus. <laughs> she has certainly outshined her daddy. Yeah, yeah. Had had a few more hits than him. He had achy breaky, and that was that it. Was it. <laughs> he was done. But um, I also found out he was a baseball. He had a baseball scholarship to Georgetown University. He, he should have stuck with baseball. He, yeah, he should have. <laughs> but he dropped out of that, and dropped out of school, 
to uh, pursue his singing career, so he went down to Nashville. We all make well, decisions. Yeah, we just do. decisions. So, um, what would have been life been like if he had stuck with baseball? Um, and then he had an achy, breaky bat. And, <laughs> and then uh, I found. Also, we uh, we celebrate Rachel Ray's birthday. Rachel Ray, born in 1968. Mm, so uh, yeah, yeah. So um, she is like, of course. This really famous chef and author and uh, host of a TV yeah. show, and, and and people should know by now we have a theme <laughs> that runs through yes. all of our weekly updates. whole lot of food content. It's always on this. about food. <laughs> yeah, whole lot, whole lot. Um, I found out something. She was she, apparently she has a TV show called Thirty Minute Meals, like quick meals or whatever. And uh, she was filming a pilot, and uh, <laughs> something happened with a with a pan that had been preheated. And it was still on, and she poured oil in it and almost burned down the set. <laughs> when when it, she was it was Emerald Lagasse set. It was the Emerald Lagasse set, and so uh, she almost burned down Emerald Lagasse's kitchen set. And when he um, came in there and heard about it, he said, "Bam, bam, <laughs> that's <right>. bam." <laughs> That is right. So anyway, I think that's what he said. She's she's recovered from that quite nicely, yes. and uh, she's she's a yeah. she's a good chef. She's so. got some aprons and some cookbooks. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> so anyway, other things that are going on in our church. We we celebrate the um, the fill the van. We, there's a picture on Facebook yeah. that of of the van filled up with school supplies. We want to thank you for being so generous. I mean, it it was packed to the gills with stuff yeah, and uh, and, uh, and four hundred dollars. Oh, cool! That, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, yes, yeah, so the, the agencies that get that those donations will be able to turn that into to more um, stuff for for kids and stuff. So we um, school supplies and and, uh, and and stuff. So we we thank you. We thank you for being that generous and being able to to supply our kids and teachers with the things that they need to make the school school system a our school year a a success and everything. So um, anyway. Other ongoing things right yeah. now, uh, the uh, Haiti, after the yes. earthquake down there, yep. UNCOR, yep. United Methodist Committee on Relief, it is a exemplary mission responding agency through our nomination. Mm -hmm. They're already on the scene doing things. Some people have get, contributed financially to that. That's a possibility yep. if you want to do yep. it. I Canton, North Carolina, right up the road in Canton, in Haywood County, a huge flood um, that happened last week. and. Um, killed a lot of people there's still people missing and that's right on the outskirts of Junaluska yeah and yeah. Haywood County above Asheville and uh, they're always in need and there's a way to contribute to that so our denomination our conference allows us to get money where it needs to be to help people yeah and there's no overhead yeah I, I understand that Red Cross always gets all the press that's but, right but UNCOR always is always on the ground yeah. right first yeah. first group in and um, I've worked with UNCOR in a number of disaster settings and uh, amazing. Yeah. They're yeah, amazing. Yeah. So support UMCOR. You can do that through our church office. Yeah. You can also do that through their website. But um, we'll, we'll make sure that the funds get to the proper places and everything. So, um, yeah. Yeah. All right. So we're going to bless backpacks this Sunday. I think that was last Sunday. We're we are uh, doing teachers. a blessing over teachers. And students. And students. That's right. Backpacks was last Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so that will happen this Sunday. Yep, yeah, yeah. So, so if you're a teacher, come and, and join us for, for that. And, um and uh, we want to we want to recognize the importance that our teachers and and uh, and our parents and our students have during this time of year. It was, it's a challenge. I mean, trying to get everybody heading in the right in the right direction and, right. and doing the things that they need to do to get the school to, school year off to proper start can be tough. So anyway, come out this Sunday. We will be on uh, YouTube and Facebook, but we want to see you in person as well. So um, we are uh, we're currently not singing in. Um, congregationally um, but we will have our choir will be singing as well as our praise band at the early service so please come out and join us for worship we encourage you to wear a mask yeah I mean yeah uh, it's not a mandatory thing but we encourage you. we do we do and, so uh, we hope that you can come and join us and and be a part of that so um, anyway got anything else today hope you're having a great, great day hope you're having a great day too we um, we encourage you to take care of one another we hope you're taking care of yourself and we will see you soon mm -hmm.